Hi guys, it's me, Delicious Delights, so welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about a fragrance from the house of Gucci. This is a flanker from the very popular series Gucci Guilty. This is called Absolute Pour Femme. So that is what the bottle looks like. It was released in 2018 and I've been testing this fragrance on and off since its release. And now I'm ready to talk about this one. So that is what the bottle looks like. Did I show you guys that already? Uh, very nice berry, raspberry colored bottle. Very cute. I like that, I get the bottle a lot. Now let's get this onto a paper. Okay. Okay. I love the opening of this fragrance a lot. It is so juicy, vibrant, fruity, berry smelling. Fresh, happy, and it just feels like, it just feels like the berries are like bursting out of their skins when I smell this. And I really, really am into fruity scents at the moment. I just love the smell of fruit and this is just very a very refreshing, happy, fruity berry smell in the beginning. It's absolutely fantastic. It's one of my favorite fruity openings in fragrance. Um, yeah, I think so. It's one of my favorite openings when it comes to fruity fragrances. I just think it's so vibrant and, and very like eye-opening and just something great to start your day with. So I do really like the opening about, uh, of this fragrance a lot. So this opening lingers around for quite a while, but maybe after a half an hour or so, the, the fruit to berry smell still remains, but it's not as juicy or fruity and bright. On my skin, what happens is this musk starts creeping in. It's not really a lady musk, thank goodness. It's not lady musk, it's just like a light, a lighter white musk. I'm not really sure what the notes are, but that's what I get on my skin, a pleasing musk. It's a very nice smell. I would have preferred if that berry smell just would have stayed that way throughout the whole entire fragrance, but no, it, it does decline and you do get this musk. That's a pleasant smelling musk. That's not lady musk <laughs> that comes in and I, and I really do like it. So what happens in the dry down of this fragrance is not much, to be honest. That musk slowly takes over in this fragrance. And so what happens is the most thing, the thing that I notice most is the musk and then the berries are slowly fading away. Kind of just like a, a very, um, not a steep slope, but a very like, what's that word? Not steep, the opposite of steep. Going down slowly, the berry, the berry smell but you do smell it throughout the whole fragrance and it's a very pleasing fragrance. One of the better fragrances, new releases that I've smelled lately when it comes to women's designers. Most of the time I'm disappointed with women's designer fragrances. I'm not disappointed with this one. I think it's, I think it's really nice. If you're looking for something simple, something fruity, something that you can wear every day, it's very easy to wear. It kind of, Gives me that same feeling as far as versatility versatility goes as the Angel Eau Sucre where you can just like grab it, pick it up, wear it in any any occasion, any time of day, any season. It's just like a, a great versatile fragrance that I think is not so complex, but I kind of like it that way. Just a very pleasant berry smell. So if you like fruity berry smells, this was an easy one to like. Very, very, very easy one to like. So the notes in here, they're only listing three, but I will pick, I will pull it, pull it up on Fragrantica. The three that they let mention here are Blackberry, Bulgarian Rose, and Golden Wood. Um, to me, it's more like a raspberry smell. But yeah. It's, it's pretty close. It's close enough, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm just gonna pull it up on here. Just bear with me. 
uh, Gucci Gil I'm gonna pause it because <laughs> it's gonna take up too much time just one sec okay I'm back so the notes in this fragrance on the top we have blackberry bergamot and <laughs> pink pepper I'm sorry about that I was all stuttery in the middle we have rose cypress woody notes and vetiver and in the base we have amber and patchouli so there is no mention of musk at all in this fragrance that's kind of weird because that's all I get mostly just berries and musk but that's the note pyramid that they have listed here I don't know do you guys get musk on your skin when you wear this I'm really really surprised there aren't there isn't any musk in the notes Either way, it doesn't really matter. It does smell very, very, very nice. Uh, would I want to own this? Maybe, maybe at some point. I don't really need to own it, it now, but if I saw it on sale, I might pick it up. I think it's really great. I do also really love the men's version, which is completely different. The Gucci Guilty um, Port Ohm, Absolute Port Ohm. Uh, very strange. Uh, niche kind of leathery scent which is really really great but anyways i like this fragrance i'd love to know what you guys think of it please let me know in the comments and i will be back with more videos soon see you guys bye bye